Hello, I'm Annie Sloan. Welcome to my warehouse studio. This is a video about how to spray chalk paint lacquer. I'm here with Ron Taylor of Traditional Painter and he knows all about spraying. Complete expert. So what are all the tricks? The lacquer along with the paint, yeah. we're going to have to thin to get it to spray well. Yeah. And we can see that that's, that's much too thick. I don't think we're going to need it thinned as much as chalk paint. Yeah. We're definitely going to need it thinning. Right. So if we put some lacquer in the pot, and we're going to add initially about 10% water in. Of course, this is a water-based lacquer, and so that's, that's why Ron is now adding some water to it. So before Ron started, he gave this lacquer a really good stir because all the goodies are at the bottom. Last time you talked about worm threads, worm, worm, yeah, casts, yeah, worm casts, which I think yeah. is a great way to yeah. describe it. So the worm casts are where you tip the, um, the stick and you let it drip. And if you drip and you find you make marks in the, in the, uh, the varnish, the lacquer, then that's, that's too thick. So you have to add water so it's not like that. And that's exactly how the same with the chalk paint. So, yeah, that's looking good. Yes. Oh, he's a I'm bit more add, water. Add just a touch more. OK. But and stir really well. Stir really well. Yeah. Do, do it gradually. Don't add too much water from the start. Because if yes. you find you've got too much water in... Then that's annoying. Yeah. If you put too much water in something that's like this, a gloss, it will lose its sheen. Ah, that's a very, very good point. So not too much water. No, only as much as you need. Yes, this is actually a gloss varnish, a gloss lacquer. And we want that gloss, so you add too much water, that's a very good point. As with all spraying, it's best to wear a mask. You don't want the particles into your lungs. This is a particle mask, this is a professional mask. And while this is, this is the best one, we've got these, a sort of a DIY mask here. That's the very bare minimum you want to be using. For, for a lot of spraying, this is what we want. So everything's ready now, so what's the next step? Right, first thing to do before we spray the lacquer yeah. is to get the paint setting right. right. So, I'm going to put my mask on. So you're going to test this, are you? That's yeah. what you're going to be doing? Yes, we're going to test this first, not on the piece. We're going right. to test it on, on the wall to very see important. that we've got it right. Yeah. right. yeah, don't go straight in because if it's wrong, You've only That's got it. one chance. Good. All right. Okay. Let's go. We're going to set this in the the widest possible fan, just to test, and then we'll alter the fan to the smallest. Okay. And have you adjusted this bit as well to make certain that the right amount is coming through? Yes, that's set to one. Right. We've got these gradients around there and that's right. set almost to one and that's right. about right for right. the lacquer. Important to remember if the turbine's warm, yeah. the lacquer will spray and flow together better. Right. So if we, if we set this up and leave it somewhere for about five minutes, you'll feel the the warmth, in the, warmth in the tube and, I say, the lacquer will spray better. So we've tested the lacquer, we know it's exactly right, so now we're going to do it onto the cabinet. So just a few points to remember, this is something we painted a couple of hours ago, it's now completely dry, we're very pleased with it. What you mustn't do is get dirt or dust on it. If I was to touch it here or whatever, anything, when you spray it, the varnish is going to bring everything up. So it's got to be super beautiful. Are you ready or have you got anything else? When we spray kitchen doors, yeah. the best thing to do is to finish one side. That's the paint and the lacquer. All right. Because as you say, if you touch this and get fingerprints on it, you'll mark it. So if right. we turn that over now on a rack while it's still in chalk paint to do yeah. the other side, you'll get marks we'll on get the marks. rack. If we Good do it with the lacquer, yeah. the lacquer won't mark. OK, well, I can't wait to see what this looks like. You pleased? You pleased with the result? It yes. looks fantastic yeah. to me. 
You'll notice when I sprayed, I overlapped each pass by 50%. So I sprayed a line and then I sprayed the next line so it overlapped the previous line 50%. Yeah, very if you good. just spray strips like a crossing, you'll end up with dry patches. Yeah, you don't want stripes. You'll also notice I didn't alter the setting yeah. for the lacquer to thin for the edge because the lacquer can pull up if it's on too thick, so it needs to be a consistent finish. So I always keep that setting to the widest, even right. for the edge. So we're going to let this dry, yeah. and how long will that be? I would think if we leave that for half an hour, mm -hmm. we can put the final coat of lacquer on. Fantastic. So that's it, spraying with chalk paint lacquer. It's really, really easy.